garage. Frank's getting springs. There they are. Brand spanking new from IPD. There's Frank. Jack and Jack stands. Stay tuned. Is out. I learned last time I did this. It's much easier just to take off the take off the piston, the carrier, and the disc brake. Just makes the whole shoot match lighter. I got a horribly rotted out dust shield there, but I'll find some nice aftermarket ones later on. Replace them. Maybe next time I do the brakes. There you go. There's a spring compressors that I borrowed from O'Reilly Auto Parts. 48 hours. Bring them back. Free as can be. So first one goes. Here we go. See just for a minute the difference in spring height. Of course the stock spring gets really compressed tightly to ride on there. I've got one ready to go as you can see. I've got to compress that obviously to get the, the bolt on the top, or the nut on the top rather, and torque it down properly and then slide it back in there. And good. Operating the sway bar link bushings while I'm at it because I got them there. Looks good. Going to the other side. And wheels are on. Moving to the back, so not real complicated, but there's uh, just one thing to work on, which is there's a nut right there. You can see it in the middle of the screen. And of course, the, the springs are tight in the, the shackle right now, so I guess I'll drop the shackles over bolt and let the swing arm drop again, and that should be enough to take it out, especially with the weight of the axle on it. When you pull the shock bolt, Trailing arm drops right out. The nut, which you can't see, is a 15 millimeter. I'll have that off. I'll be back in a minute. Point of confusion, the uh, spring came out super easy, but I didn't notice that the nut didn't come off there. It actually unthreaded from whatever holds it into the frame. The good news is, is that this just pushes through, and then these two pieces come apart so that it can sandwich the top coil which is right here. So you see I gotta get those to the new one to look like the old one. Pretty easy. Let me show you this. This part pops right off. This cone just pries out of there with a screwdriver. And now I guess I'm just gonna pull that out. Yeah. I'm just gonna push the rubber back and uh, push that through. That's all it took. Just uh, undid it, pushed right through, and I'm just going to put on the new one and uh, hang it back up there. We're in good shape. Okay, there it is in place. I actually put a little piece of safety wire around the bottom of it because when you release the spring arm, the entire thing actually drops away a little bit. Don't want that to happen unintentionally. Can't really tell in the garage, but it looks really good. I'll take a picture when it's outside tomorrow.